Today we are discussing about marriage management. Marriage management. Because everything in life requires management. Marriage is a management. Some people say that marriage is enjoyment. Some people said that marriage is management. But I understand the two sides, the both sides. Marriage is an enjoyment. Mostly, if I may use this word, is only on the bed. It is enjoyment only on the bed. Apart from the bed side, it is management. Help me touch the subscribe button or click to follow button. Depends the platform you are watching me right now. God bless you. Don't forget to share this message to many people. Don't forget to comment and to drop your suggestion. We are going to focus mainly on the management side of marriage more than the enjoyment side of marriage. A man said to me, say, Pastor, in the night, man will be rejoicing. That is the bedside with his wife. But when money comes, the man will face a lot of responsibilities. And also, marriage requires management. Because marriage is responsibility. Marriage is a responsibility. So, there are many issues these days. We are seeing broken marriages. We are seeing a lot of problems in marriage everywhere. You go to law court today, you see husband and wife having misunderstanding. You go to even in a shrine, a man sue his wife to shrine to a deity. That is a marriage crisis. You go to church, you see after service, you see husband and wife, you see pastor settling husband and wife. That is a marriage issues. So anywhere you go today, you discover that marriage has become like uh, there is a lot of crisis in marriage because people neglect two sides of marriage. I said the two sides of marriage that every man will pay attention is the area of management and the area of responsibility. Area of management and the area of responsibility. So that area of enjoyment is just a 5% out of other 95% that make up marriage. So the area of enjoyment that is on the bed is just a 5%, 5%. But the area of responsibility and the area of management is 95%. So we have to pay more attention on the 95% of it. Help me touch the subscribe button or click to follow button. Depends the platform you are watching me right now. God bless you. So marriage is Manage. Marriage is managed. Marriage is managed. And marriage is responsibilities. I said that before any man have a thought in his mind to marry, he must understand something that marriage has nothing to do with age. Marriage has nothing to do with age. Marriage has nothing to do with money. Marriage has nothing to do with uh, uh, with beauty or anything you think about some people say that pastor oh i want to marry i am of age now i am 40 years now i want to marry a lot of sisters said i need husband i am 35 now i am 30 years i am qualified to marry but i want to tell everyone that marriage is has nothing to do with age it has nothing to do with the number of years or not how old a man or a lady is because marriage is all about responsibility marriage is all about responsibility so now before a brother marry not because a brother is at the age of 40 that qualifies him to marry no there are some brothers at the age of 40 at the age of 45 they still have mentality of a child they still have a mentality of a child Anything that happened between him and his wife, he will call his mother, call his father, call his siblings, call his friends and table the issue between him and his wife to his friends to, 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 to bring their own opinion. 
that kind of brother is not here qualified to marry. And a sister that anything that happened in her marriage, she will call her mom on phone, call her dad on phone, call her siblings, tell, tell, tell her friends how she and her husband are living, all the problems, the dispute, the misunderstanding between them. That sister is not qualified to marry, is not yet ready for marriage. Because in marriage, there is a secret in marriage. And there is a secret that every man, every couple that want to enjoy their marriage, that want to enjoy home, they must have a secret that only two of them know. And I want to advise every couple not to be bringing anybody in area of your marriage. If you want to talk about anything to your friends or your parents, just discuss, discuss separating to them. But in the area of marriage between you and your wife or your you and your husband should be a private of a thing. So marriage crisis these days, a lot of crisis in marriage. There are responsibilities for man and the husband means father because a husband is the one that's supposed to pet her, his wife, he's supposed to take good care of his wife, he's supposed to pay more attention and carry some responsibilities of the family. I understand that marriage is not all about policy because there are some people that want to use policy in marriage. They say that whatsoever I say, you must do. Whenever you see a man that make that comment and say, whatever I say, you must do it because I am your husband, that man's marriage will always have problem. And uh, any marriage you see, a lady always talk, talk anyhow. A lady also want to say that I am also able to bring a, 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 a make a contribution and whatsoever I want to do, I will do. Anything I like to do, I will do. Whenever you see a lady like that, that marriage will have problem. And in order to settle all these problems in marriage today, I want to say to brothers, to a man, to men, that there is a responsibility waiting for them in marriage. A marriage. There are some responsibilities. You will not be expecting your wife to do what you're supposed to do. That is why I am praying that the Lord will bless every man watching this video. That the Lord will commit resources into your hands so that you will cater the area of your responsibility, especially financial area. In a marriage, whenever you see a marriage that the wife is the one that catering for the financial area, that marriage always has a problem. Because God destined that man will be the one to cut out the area, something like finance, something like the area of rent and rentage and taking care of his children, paying children school fees, doing a lot of things. But when you see otherwise, when you see a woman taking care of those areas, that marriage always has a problem. And I discovered that a woman can rebel against her husband. Immediately she discovered that she is the one that is taking care of financial area in that marriage. So God will bless every man here in such a way that you can be able to take good care of your marriage. And the ladies, I want to tell you that a lady, whenever, when a lady marries, it is of good advice that that sister or that woman find another friend, like, like a married woman like her. And sometimes, some of your friends will begin to tell you how her, their husband used to give them millions, how her, their husband used to give them billions of naira, how her husband used to give them when they want to cook, her husband, their husband will give them 50,000 for just one pot of soup. And you think that those things that are telling you is true. You come back home, you begin to rebel against your husband. Automatically, you will lose your marriage. So find a way to manage your marriage. Marriage requires management and also responsibility. That is marriage. That is marriage. So today, the Lord God Almighty will put peace in your marriage. That any marriage that is suffering problem, any marriage that is dispute here and there, the Lord will put peace there. I want to tell you once again, couple, that the, the, the dispute that two of you settle with each other is more important is the is the is the issue that will have a everlasting solution more than the one outside that settled for you remember that when you want to marry you did not marry for your pastor so you should know how how to not be disturbing your pastor every day with the issue of your marriage remember that when you want to marry you did not marry for customary courts you did not marry for magistrates 
you did not marry for police you did not marry for army neither did you marry for any anything anybody any of your friends you just marry for yourself and by yourself and that is why you should come to a stage how to manage your marriage and how to take the responsibilities of your marriage that will make your marriage to work find the secret be uh, secret of that your your partner the secret that is to say what that your partner love what that your partner hate and when you discover what your partner love and what your partner hate peace begin to come to your marriage any woman can be a good wife if you know her secret and any man can be a good husband if you just know her secret remember that Igbo proverb said when a woman knew the secret of her husband the people people will say that she used charm to hold her husband and today the lord will put love in your marriage god will put peace in your marriage in the name of jesus christ amen i love you all and i pray that peace will return back to your marriage in the mighty name of jesus don't forget to share this message to many people don't forget to comment and to drop your suggestion don't forget to introduce this platform this channel or this page to your friends forward it share it to your friends to watch and help them god bless you see you next time and bye for now <laughs>